So there's a lot of skepticism surrounding the Cowboys team. But Dak Prescott is the leader of this. He says these young guys are going to step up. When people were asking him about, about all the doubts about the young receivers and the rookie left tackle, he said, quote, but you all hadn't seen me as a rookie either. I love it. Keep <laughs> writing. Keep talking. We're for it. We know what we have. We know who we are. We know what we're going to do. You're six years old playing peewee football. If you can't, ain't got nobody to block them up, your quarterback going to get hammered. That's just what it boils down to. Because I used to do it when I was playing defense in peewee football. <laughs> I understand where Dak is coming from. But these unknowns makes me nervous. These un Losing Tyron Smith. I had Tyron Smith the second most important player on the Dallas Cowboys football team. Not because he hasn't missed time. We know he's missed time. Continuity. A veteran presence on that offensive line. And I know Zach Martin is there. But somebody going to be playing left tackle that ain't played a lot of it. And you mm -hmm. talking about these wide receivers and these weapons. I'm concerned about that. Listen, the last team that won a a Super Bowl or went deep into the playoffs without a left tackle, I need to find out who it is because mm. it is one of the most important positions in football. And other than that, like, I'm confident about the defense. I'm confident that they can have another big-time year under Dan Quinn, and we know what Michael Parsons is. But if Dak is telling us, just wait, y'all ain't know me as a rookie, please, Lord, let it be the case. I just don't see it right now. You know, but he's the guy. And, and Dominique, I told you earlier, we had Tad, Dak's brother, in the mentions earlier this week because there are so many questions about, about their team. I, I think the answers are all Dakota Rain Prescott. I, I think that's yeah. what it's all about. It's about him taking the next step. He has proven himself to be a very good NFL quarterback. If he becomes a great one, that's the Cowboys' key to success this year. Dominique. I mean, I agree, I guess, but I feel like we're creating an unfair expectation because, as, as Marcus just said, there aren't quarterbacks or teams that succeed without offensive lines. And next most important thing to Man. a good quarterback is receivers that uh, get open, and he doesn't have as many – and catch the ball consistently. He doesn't have as many of those as you would like. So while we create these fictions around these other quarterbacks, like Tom Brady with the, with the Patriots, when they didn't have the weapons that he needed, he wasn't good. Then he went down to Tampa. He's <laughs> awesome. The same thing happened with Matt Stafford. It happens for all of them. So we are creating this expectation that Dak Prescott is, if they don't perform this year, he hasn't elevated to great. Find me a great quarterback that don't have a great offensive line. Last two well, years, we saw Aaron Rodgers win MVP. Offensive line, but he's saying best that. in the league. Let me he's push saying back that. Let me push That's back what a got me nervous here, is Dak is saying that. Hold on one second. Let me push back a little bit on this thought, okay? I keep having people on this show telling me Aaron Rodgers is still going to have a monster year, even though they lost Devontae Adams, and they don't have a single receiver on that roster that anyone's ever heard of. I have people telling me Tom Brady will overcome all these losses on the offensive line. Now, I understand, Dak, those, those are two of two. Those are the two, two of the greatest of all time. But Dak, the great quarterbacks sometimes elevate that stuff, Neek, No. No, they don't. Aaron Rodgers' offensive line is still going to be great. And maybe he'll have a good year, but he won't have an MVP season. And we'll see about Tom Brady. The fact of the matter is, as Marcus said, I saw, I mean, the one time when I went against this rule of having an important offense or having an offensive line is very important was when Patrick Mahomes was in the Super Bowl against the Buccaneers. And I learned my damn lesson. Never doing it again. Mm -hmm. If you cannot protect that man, I don't care how good he is. It's not they're not going to perform as well yeah. as you expect them to. And it's for everybody. And we're creating this expectation around Dak that somehow he can't transcend the talent around him. Nobody <laughs> in the league can. Lamar Jackson may be the only player, the only player because of his unique style that makes the team around him enough or makes them so much better because what he does is so unique. But no quarterback in his league can overcome a bad offensive line and a depleted receiving court. It just don't happen. So if Dak and does Foxy, it, he's going to be the Foxy, first to do it we, and give him the MVP. We, we don't even have to go back that far. We don't have to go back as far as the Super Bowl. Yeah. Do we not remember what the San Francisco 49ers did in the NFC Championship last year? I mean, yeah. or in the second round of the playoffs against the Green Bay Packers? Mm -hmm. Like, that was an offensive line issue. That was a yeah. that was a not being able to block those guys issue. Listen, yeah. I love the confidence, but guess what? All 32 of these damn teams got confidence. Even the <laughs> even the Jacksonville Jaguars, they, they could win their division. And everybody else, I am going to wait and see. I ain't bullish on it because I don't know what your offensive line is. 
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.